Hey YouTube, it's Shayla. I wanted to hop back in and do another voiceover for you guys. I'm going to show you a picture. This is the set that I already had. I thought I was recording when I started cutting and drilling off the acrylic, but apparently that's not really the case here. Um, so we'll just have to start at this point in my process. I am going in, I believe, with an extra coarse bit to really um, remove a lot of the product, remove a lot of the acrylic down as much as possible. And then I go in with this acrylic remover. I forgot the brand. I forgot the name but I will link it in the description box below in case anyone does have any questions because what I do is as you can see I scrape the acrylic right off it's really good for acrylic poly gel regular gel polish gel X nails all of the above for whatever you do on yourself or your clients I do go in twice so I will file down my acrylic as much as possible um, I go one nail at a time I'll you know put it on that nail do the next nail once I do all five I'll go back in with the second coat and then re-scrape it as you can see it really just scrapes right off um, I did want to moisturize my natural nails a little bit with some cuticle oil um, you know cut them down file them shape them a little bit I do have an extended hyponychium which means that the skin under my nails grow really long um, with my natural nails so my natural nails cannot be too short <clears throat> which is why they look how they do they look super long naturally um, but yes yeah, so I'm just filing down my natural nails let them stay moisturized for a little bit and then I'll do the other hand get the acrylic off and then I'll come back to here and then as you can see now my hands are clean and clear I am pushing back my cuticles with a cuticle pusher I do like this process it doesn't hurt at all I do this with my clients it really pushes back my cuticle get some of that skin from under there under there cleaned up and then um, I'm going to once I'm done with all my fingers I'm gonna go in with a small ball bit to really clean up under there the cuticle pusher only really does but so much it really just pushes back the cuticle that ball bit will really really get under there clean all of that up any of that dead skin really gets under under there really really good this is super important in your prep it's a, it's super important in my own prep um, it really helps to um, reduce lifting um, clear up all of that dead skin under there so this is a very very important step please don't really ever forget this step I mean if you do it is what it is but I don't forget this step and then once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go in with a medium grit sanding band. That will also help if any spots were um, missed with the small ball bit, um, it will help clear that up too. But as you can see, I did have oil on my fingers. So I'm going to go in with my sanding band and remove all the natural oils or any added oils from my fingernails and also get under the cuticle a little bit to help clear all of that up as much as possible. I do really love a good fine sanding band, but I feel that using a medium grit um, kind of helps better to remove any of the oils from your nails. I feel like a fine sanding, bit, sanding band sometimes can um, just buff the nail instead of really getting a good etch without damaging the nail which is why I've started to use more of a medium grit instead of a fine bit, a fine bit, a fine grit um, on my sanding bands. And then once I'm done here, I'm just gonna clean up my natural nails and you know, um, get all the dust and debris off of there. I am using Nails and Blinks um, already pre-shaped almond tips. I really, really love their tips. Um, they do not break. They're really good. They're already pre-shaped, so I do go in and cut them down a little bit. I also, sometimes my hands get out of frame when I'm doing this set. Honestly, it's just because I get lost in doing my set and my hands get out of the camera, so I did have to file and shape them out of the camera um, or just, you know, pretty much edit that part out. And then now I'm going to go in with my acrylic. I also use a neutralizer. I am a home-based business, so it helps with the odor in my room. It helps with the odor not really getting upstairs in the rest of my house. Um, so the one that I had already used when that pink bottle was from Not Polished. And so once I do clean my nails with some regular 90% um, isopropyl alcohol, I do go in with two coats of dehydrator, one coat of Mia Secret Bond, I mean primer, no I'm sorry, yes, 
bond and then two coats of my young nails primer i do this on my clients as well it really helps with lifting um, so that my girls can last about a good solid three to four weeks between sets with no lifting and my acrylic i don't know if you guys have tried elegance elegance beauty supply their cover acrylic is so gorgeous the color i'm using in this set is called amore but I normally have been using Skin, it's S-K-Y-N. This is not a sponsorship or anything like that. I'm just telling y'all how beautiful their cover acrylics are. When I use Skin, every single girl loves it. All my clients, it doesn't matter if they're dark skin, light skin, red undertone, pink undertone, green undertone, yellow undertone. It's such a great compliment to them. Um, like my sister-in-law, she's never used a nude acrylic before. She always feels like it ages her skin on her hands. And I used it and she loved it. And I was like, wow, this is really, really beautiful. So this color, it's not skin. It is a more, so it's my first time using it. But as soon as I saw it, I was in love. And even to this day, like right now, I'm looking at my nails. They're still super gorgeous. I love this acrylic so much. Um, as you can see, when I am applying my first and second beads of my, um, of my acrylic, I'm pointing my fingers downward. When you're doing your own nails, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. And so when I put my finger downward, I pretty much let the acrylic just run its course, you know, down my nail. And then as it's going, I'm just moving it along. I'm guiding it in the direction that I need it to go. That really helps me when I'm doing my own nails, especially my non-dominant hand. When I'm doing my right hand with my left, it used to be such a struggle, but this set really did not take me as long once I started implementing that technique and just really putting my fingers downward and letting the acrylic do most of the work for me. And then after that, I really just built up um, the structure and shape of my nail after that. And so please y'all tell me what y'all think about this color in the comments if you can. If anyone decides that they really like this set, let me know because I really love this color. This color is really, really dope. Elegance Beauty Supply, y'all really did y'all think with this, okay? Um, I gotta place another order. This set actually, um, they do have a cover acrylic collection and then they have, it's an older collection. And then they came out with a new one called Nayeli's Favorite. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And that's where you'll be able to find this color. I'm not sure if they sell it separately. I did buy the bundle. Um, but I guess I'm just going to step away for now. Let y'all finish watching the rest of this set. And then I'll come back.
so I just wanted to also mention, right, you see how when I get to my cuticles, I kind of just dab in um, with real short strokes a little bit. I'm kind of like tippy tapping inside the cuticle. I do this as a method to kind of tuck my um, acrylic into my cuticle area because I noticed in the beginning when I would when I would try to not let not say flood my cuticle with acrylic, but when I would make it a lot thicker um, in my cuticle area, I didn't get lifting, but it would still look a little bulky in that area after I would say about three weeks of my acrylic growing out. So I noticed now when I do my little tuck tuck method um, at the cuticle with my acrylic brush and then after I go in and file my nails it looks a lot better it looks a lot cleaner not once the nails are done but a week or two later you know like once that growth is really out and that acrylic is still there it doesn't look as raggedy I guess or raggedy for lack of a better term you know it's, it's still a cleaner look like you can still see the new growth but um, it doesn't look as crazy so I like to tug my acrylic better in my cuticle area because it really just it gives it a cleaner look later on because I don't do my nails every two weeks I don't know why like it's not therapeutic to me <laughs> like, I'm just I'm a very very picky person that's why I do my own nails like I used to always get my nails done in the salon and then I would come home and always file something or the shape wasn't right or something just was off you know so I just got to a point where now that I do my own nails I'm happy because I don't have to deal with that so to speak so I don't typically um, do my nails like every other day or every other week I no lie will go like six weeks <laughs> like four to six weeks in between doing my nails I don't worry about always doing fillings because I'm always changing so I do like three sets of square and I go back to almonds so I soak it off anyway and do a whole new set and then I get tired of almond and I'm like oh wait they're, they're so long I haven't had short nails in a while and then I'll do short and then three days later I immediately regret it because I hate short nails on myself so I'm always changing my shape out and everything like that so I'm always doing a new set <laughs> like every every other month or so um, well not even every other month I'll say every two months because you know my shapes change and I don't just change the shape like I don't file it down to change the shape I just do like pretty much a soak off or you know with that product that I use completely get all the acrylic off and start from scratch so that's exactly what I do but yeah my little tucking method it helps y'all it really really helps I'm gonna go in with the 80 80 grit nail file and just shape up 
um, my sides and my top. So let me tell y'all, right, I'll, this is also another trick that I learned. Well, not really a trick, but just another way to help. Most of my work is in laying my acrylic. The smoother my application, the less filing I have to do. You know, once if my sidewalls are good, then that's less shaping I have to do. And I'm gonna tell you right now, shaping can take so much time. Like it could take so much damn time, y'all. It can get aggravate to me, it can get aggravating. So that's why I really like to make sure my acrylic is it, not to say perfect but just as smooth and as pretty as I can get it from you know the top of it to the side walls to everything just being as clean as possible because then that just means less shaping and less filing that I have to do um, back when I first started it would really take me a long time to shape my nails because my edges would be jagged or my edges would be um, just or too wide or what whatever and now it's just a lot easier and now I'm gonna go in with another um, medium grit sanding band and this is really just um, cleaning it up even better than what my file my hand file did I try not to hand file too much or even e-file too much as long as my acrylic looks good from the beginning um, these last two processes will not take me too long um, I don't use a regular um, e-file bit to do this part on myself because at this point my acrylic just really looked really great so I just felt like a sanding band was all that I really needed to really get the final touches of my shaping down and to seal my cuticles sealing your cuticles after you've laid your acrylic down will, will really be like the chef's kiss final touch in making sure that you do not have any lifting to make sure that your cuticles um, are flush with your ac acrylic and make sure that it looks really, really nice and neat. So that's pretty much all I'm doing right here is the last step in shaping my nails and making sure that I am sealing my cuticles. Um, I do go underneath because sometimes my, um, you know, my natural nail and the hypernicium can really just get annoying to me. So I'll go and clean up underneath the nails as well. Um, but all in all, this process really does not take too much time. So once I've gone in with my 8080 hand file, my medium coarse sand, my medium grit sanding band, I am gonna buff them really quickly with this um, really huge pink buffer. I don't use this on my clients because they're just so big, but I go in with a buffer and then I go in with alcohol again to clean up a lot of the dust and debris so that we can go ahead and get into this nail art. So sometimes chrome just really aggravates my nerves. It's too many steps in working with chrome. So sometimes for a cleaner look or just less of a process, I do go in with base gel. You can use top coat too, but for me, I just use base gel and I put some of my chrome powder in there and I just mix it up to um, be how I wanted it to be. And then once I go ahead and um, start my nail art, it'll be ready when I need it and then that's how I'll get my chrome to look now of course it does look different than if you um, do chrome how you're naturally supposed to do it you know lay your top coat down and then rub on your chrome it does look different I didn't really care um, to have the rub on look rub on chrome look I wasn't um, it wasn't that important for me to achieve that which is why I just did my lazy method of using my base gel and then just mixing it in together um, so that's pretty pretty much all I have for now you guys I really hope you like my video um, I hope you enjoy the process um, I ask that you please you know hit like hit comment please subscribe to let me know that you are kind of digging my videos and that'll let me know to just keep doing what i'm doing and upload some more i do have some more content that i'm um getting ready to upload as well after this but any feedback any likes or anything like that would be greatly appreciated please let me know what you think of the design i hope you all have a great week have a great weekend you know, and I hope you learned something from my video today. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time watching my video. Bye.